It's not very often where your dream product comes to reality. Well, today's video, that is actually happening. This is the Oasa R1, a robotic lawnmower that's the world's first real lawnmower. If you don't know what that is, remember the old push lawnmowers? They had a real blade that is able to cut the grass. This has one of those. So I'm really excited to test this out. A huge thank you to Oasa for sponsoring this video so that I could show you what it can do. Now this is a beta product, so I'm gonna be using the software that's available now. I won't be able to show every single thing it can do, but we're gonna go ahead and test out the really cool features that this has. Now some unique things about this, there is no boundary wire in the yard. There's also no RTK antenna, so it's able to use LiDAR to navigate around. So we're gonna go ahead and get this unboxed. I'm gonna map it out and show you some of the awesome features. Let's get started. First, we need to take off the charging cover. And there we have the R1, and there on the bottom, you can see that real blade. So that's 13 inches, and there is the millimeters on screen, but it's self-sharpening, and so this is really a beast. It will be able to go up to into two inches next to the edge. One of the things I've been looking forward to for a long time. And so here under the charging base, there's a wrap here that has a bunch of cable that I can use to get it plugged in. All right, there we have it plugged in, powered on. We can have the cable come out here. All right, we need to make sure there's nothing within three feet of the base station, so I'm just gonna move it just a little bit. Next, we're going to place the R1 about two and a half feet in front of it with the cameras facing there. All right, now we're going to power it on. And then I'm going to use the OASA app to get it connected to my Wi-Fi. So now it's showing that it's currently charging and let's go ahead and create a map. All right, it's ready to go. So automatically backs up here. Now this has kind of a self mapping, 3D mapping ability. So during this process, it's going to use the LiDAR sensor on the top to figure out where it's at. And then as I drive it around the yard, it will map out the rest of the yard. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add a lawn. Now we need to use the on-screen controls to move the R1 into position to start mapping. Now there are a few different ways in which you can map. One is the typical use the remote on screen and drive around where you want it to mow. Now that's great, but I've used this many different times on all of my mowers, and so I'm not gonna do it this way. So here I use the manual mapping, but let's go ahead and head to the front lawn and do the auto mapping. So here we need to add another lawn and then we're just going to drive the robot where we're going to start. All right, so here we are at the next lawn. I'm going to tap start and then I'm gonna tap the A up here to do auto mapping. Now, as soon as I push that A button, it is going to begin driving all by itself using its sensors to follow along any borders to map the yard. Now, at any point you can push the buttons to stop it and then drive it manually, maybe in a shorter part of your yard between two obstacles or here between my yard and my neighbor's yard. I need to drive this path manually to tell it where to go. But once I get back to the sidewalk, I can push the A and it will continue to auto map the rest of this area until it gets to the end point. Now it's using sensors and its vision and everything to be able to understand what your yard is and where it needs to go. Now it's gonna stay a little bit away from the yard, but when it actually mows, it's gonna get really close up to that edge. And once it arrives back at the starting point, it will then stop mapping and then you can save the map and complete that area. But there's actually one other thing we can do to make this even better. So if we turn on the auto mode, you'll see that we're off road, but we have the option to slide it over to hover. And as what that's going to do is it's going to hover half on the concrete here and half on the yard. So then when it's cutting, it knows to go like this so it can really get all the way to the edge and you don't have to come and use your trimmer to trim around the edge. Some mowers, I've had to do this a ton, so this saves a ton of time. And anytime you can swipe the hover back over to off-road, it will go back on the grass and drive around that way and do the off-road mode, and you can quickly switch it back on anytime going on and off wherever those areas are that need this. And so with that auto mapping and hover feature, this has by far been the best robot mower setup ever, and I'm really excited to see how those features make this perform. Now, once I finish that mapping area, you can see that it's automatically created a path from one lawn to the next, so it knows where to go to get to that other lawn. Now, to finish the mapping, we're gonna take it back to the base station to complete the process. Let's start mowing. Now I did need to cut my grass down to about three and a half inches just to make sure everything was working great for this mower. Um, and then it's going to be, you know, just cutting a little bit every single time it mows as it's gonna be mowing multiple times. So let's go ahead, do that first mow, 
right now. So there it is sitting in its base station. Now all we need to do is tap the play here. And now the Oasis R1 is headed out to mow. The mower itself is incredibly quiet. All I do is hear a little bit of that real blade moving and going back and forth. And actually while it is going, it is slightly sharpening it as well. So it's always going to be able to easily cut the lawn. Now this is one of the more difficult areas of the lawn as it is quite downhill and there's a corner. So let's see how it does. Hey, it went around without getting stuck. That's awesome. And as it goes around this edge, let's see how it does. Again, it automatically mapped this and when it was mapping, it was staying pretty far away from the edge. But as it's going now, it's getting right next to it, which is so good to see. Now this will be able to mow up to two inches next to the border of your lawn. And here you can see in the app, it's going around the border there and you can come in here and see and you even can do a little like tilt and have this 3D map view, which is really neat. And then here it's showing you how much it's covered how much percent it's done and the time and then you have the option to stop and control with the remote or send it back to its station. Now this corner is a bit of a struggle with other mowers but when it mapped it it did a great job and I think that actually worked pretty well getting in there. A few spots that will be left over I'll have to edge but so far looking great. Every once in a while you'll see it flash red because my kid ran in front of it. That is the obstacle avoidance. So if things move in front of it or if there's an object in the way, it's going to suddenly pause and wait for them to move or go around. Now if it finds that they do move, it will then continue on its path and be able to complete the mow. Now that it has completed the first edge, it's going to go to the farthest point and start mowing. And right here where it's cutting, grass is looking great, nice and even. Now one thing, my yard is very bumpy and this is able to handle that no problem. So really excited how well this is working so far. And here you can clearly see the 13 inch cutting length. And now let's test what happens if I add an obstacle into the yard. So there you can see it saw it, adjusted and drove around it. And then it's going to change its path a little bit because it is now there. More on this later. And there it made it home all by itself without me having to intervene at all, which was amazing. I got busy pulling the weeds. Uh, this was doing so well, I figured it was time to finally do that. But here we can see now it's back to wirelessly charging here on the charging pad. I'm pretty impressed that this whole yard, it only took about 10% battery life. All right, so here we are doing another mow. I chose to do it a little bit lower at 2.5 inches and I'm also doing a crisscross pattern, but I can tell it is cutting so well. You can see the fine little cuts that it's making. Now you're probably gonna be doing this every couple of days, so you'll never really see any of the mulch, but I'm seeing a little bit just because I am doing it quite a bit lower here, but it is now looking super nice and fresh. Um, I was just cutting my lawn a little bit high at first to see how well it, it did around the border. Now I trust it firmly. So we're gonna go ahead, do this smaller cut and see what it looks like when it's complete. Now don't try this at home, but here is a look at that real blade. You can see just how cool this is, the way it looks and all the grass that it is cutting up and self sharpening as it goes. Now you can adjust this from up to four inches down to 0.8 inches. So it's really cool to see this type of blade on a smart long mower. So now that we have our two areas mapped out here, I'm gonna go into the settings and we're gonna to go to the mowing plan. So I can tap on each area to adjust that. So let's go ahead and adjust the front mowing plan. I can set it for three inches all the way down to two thirds. Let's go with a two and a half inch mow right now. I can choose the contour parallel pattern 
the stripes or the checkered board. So it's going to do it two times. And then you can adjust the angle at which it's going to um, mow at, which is really nice. So let's just start with the stripes pattern. Let's go ahead and tap save. And then it says, do you want to apply this to all the areas? And sure, let's go ahead and tap all. And now we are ready to mow. So I'm going to go back to the home page here, tap on the area I want to mow, and tap mow. And look at how well is doing the hover mode. This is going to be so nice, making all the edges up here look perfectly cut. And here on the map, you can see that it has completed this area showing all green. Now, if at any point this isn't working, I can go in and do the remapping and make a new path between that and also add other sections to mow. All right, and there it finished the mow. And some of the things I'm most impressed about is how well it was able to get up against the mailbox post here. Quite an obstacle, but it went around and then it got super close within that two inches that it talks about. It was amazing to see it go around the border here and hover over the edge and then just look at the quality of this cut. This looks so good after um, just mowing it one time. So if I did the multiple pattern, having it mow twice, it would be able to get all the areas perfectly. And then it automatically, once it finished mowing, came around here and it went back home to recharge. Now, one of the main limitations of the Oasis R1 is it cannot mow at night. Here is it as it's getting darker, it's working fine, but then slowly it gets confused and can't find its way. So I had to help it back to its home. But the good news is in the morning, I started again. And when I opened the app, it said, hey, do you want to resume the task from last night? I said yes, and boom, it completed mowing the lawn without having to redo half of it. So that's a great feature, but it won't mow at night. And here's how the lawn looks after two passes with the R1, and I'm really impressed by that real blade in the mower. Now that I verified how well the Oasis R1 is able to work, the next step is to see how well it can avoid obstacles. Now I did one test at home, but today we're gonna do it here. My parents' house, they have a lot more obstacles. We have a trampoline, we have a swing set, we have a big tree. So let's see how it does in avoiding those and getting as close as it can to them. So as it began mowing the lawn, it instantly started moving around different objects that were in its way. Now it first went up to the tree. And here, this big tree, I did not add it as an obstacle, but it is getting right up as close as it can to it so that I have very little trimming to do when it is done. And next it moved on to the swing set. Now these are pretty small posts, but it was able to see them and navigate around them, getting as close as it could. Here you can see an up closer view of how that actually worked. So it's doing its best to stay right up next to it, cutting all of it so there's as little to trim as possible. Now you can see here it does a little wide turn, so it will go back and try and pass it as close as it can before it moves on. Now the most challenging obstacle is the trampoline with its short and tall legs. Let's see how it fares. There you go. At first it did bump into it, but now it understands that that is a full object and it's able to navigate all the way around, getting fairly close to the edge of the leg. Now I'm very impressed how it can back up and continue mowing and it knows exactly where it needs to go. That was a pretty sweet move. <laughs> I can't believe it. Now to make sure that the R1 is performing at its best, it is best to trim around the edges before you mow and keep your lawn at at least three and a half inches cut. 
So after putting the Oasa R1 through the toughest obstacle course I could think of, it definitely passed with its obstacle avoidance. It's crazy how it was able to automatically know where the tree was, get as close as it could to it, then find the legs on the swing set here, get very close to them, just a little bit of trimming we need to do, and then of course the most difficult obstacle that I'll find in any of my yards is the trampoline with the trampoline legs and then the bar between them. Now it was able to see the bar. Sometimes it would bump into it, but it would back up, move around, and then it would perfectly um, kind of outline that bar on the bottom, staying within that two to four inches that it can do um, around the edge. And then it would mow and then it would continue on to the next one, continuing back and forth until it finished all the way through underneath the trampoline. So very impressive to see how well that obstacle avoidance works. So I'm very impressed to see how smart the R1 really is. It's time to talk about the three most important features about this robot that is different than any other robot mower. First, it's the world's first real robot mower. That means it has a real blade in it. It's an ultra wide blade. So it's 13 inches long uh, or 335 millimeters. And this blade cuts better than any other robot that I've had. Those tiny little rotary blades just really don't do a great job where this can get a super nice cut all across the edge. So at first I really didn't know how important a real blade is, but I think this is going to be the best robot mower available because of that real blade. Next up we have efficient mowing. So you can see these lines that it's making in the lawn with that 13 inch ultra wide real blade. It's able to cut a super nice cut and then getting to the edge, I no longer have to go around and edge every single part of the yard. With the hover ability, it's able to go over the edge a little bit where sometimes I'll have to go through and trim that with my trimmer, but now having that hover over the edge, it is going to be taken care of. All they need to do is some of the border that's a little more difficult, like here around the tramp, I'll need to take care of that. But most of all the other lawn, especially on the sidewalk and things, is now taken care of. And the third most important reason to have the R1 is the ease of use. Getting this set up was incredibly easy. I can't believe how simple it was to connect it and push the auto mapping button. Once it goes mapping, it drives around, creates that map. I didn't have to worry about how close I was to the edge or anything. It's able to automatically figure that out and each time get a little bit better at getting closer to the edge and complete the mapping so simple. We go to the next yard, do the same thing, and then I love how there's a simple option to tap to go hover and go over the edge or go off-road where it then stays in the grass area. That was by far the best thing. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent with some of the other lawn mowers, um, not that one right there, going around and remapping and mapping to see if I can get it closer to the edge and it's still failing and getting stuck. So with the R1, I haven't had any of those issues and it was so simple to go through that. Next, the ease of operation. All you need to do is go into the um, settings and choose how you want to have it plan out. So how high you want it, what type of cutting, and then you hit play and boom, it gets the job done. When it's done, it goes back to the charging base and is able to wirelessly charge. You're done. No need to go out there and pick it up and get it unstuck like I've had to do with some of the other mowers many, many times. So overall, the Oasa R1 has been one of the best robot lawn mowers I've ever used. I can't believe there's no antenna. Um, on other ones, I'm having tons of antenna issues. I have to reconnect, make sure that's updated and everything. But here with the R1, not having an antenna, using the LiDAR um, performance sensor to be able to automatically know where it is around my yard is just really game changing. I know it's funny to say that word, but it's so crazy that I don't need to have an antenna. I don't need to have a wire in my yard for it to know where to do. Um, as I've been watching it, it kind of has this look where it turns a little bit and it has the front cameras where you can tell it's kind of looking around, making sure it's doing what's right and it gets the job done. So if you have any further questions about the Oasa R1, make sure you check out the link in the description below. You can check them out on Kickstarter right now. Make sure you go and support this project. And if you have any further questions, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.